In this video, we're uh, exploring the shape of graphs. So in the first one, we have a cup of hot tea that cools off until it reaches, it cools, it gradually cools off until it reaches room temperature. So we want to plot T versus time. So as time goes up, the temperature cools off, and then it reaches a room temperature. So let's talk about these graphs. Now in A, look at what happens. The temperature cools off slowly at first and quicker and quicker, but then the temperature eventually goes to zero. Um, unless you're in a room zero degrees, that's not going to make a lot of sense. What's going to happen is the temperature is going to cool off kind of quickly at first, but then the closer it gets to room temperature, the more gradual it gets. Um, this would say that it's cooling off at a constant rate all the way down to zero. Uh, this one it doesn't cool off at all at first and all of a sudden it cools off quick then it stops cooling off so B is the one where it cools off quickly at first and then a little slower over time now I know it looks like E but notice that the axes labels have been reversed so that changes around what the graph should look like so B is going to be our correct answer there the next one consider the table and we have to determine which best describes the data of f of x. Well first off, notice the numbers are going down as the input increases. So automatically it's decreasing. So a is out, b is out. We know it's decreasing, so the only other thing we need to dis discern is the concavity. If it's concave up, there's an increasing rate of change. If it's concave down, there's a decreasing rate of change. No concavity would imply it's linear. So let's see, it goes down by 30, so let's maybe make a note of this 30, then it goes down by 50, then it goes down by 70, then it goes down by 80, then it goes down by 100. So there is concavity. All right. And it's also going down more and more each time. So a rough sketch of this data would look like this. Because it's going down more each time, the slope is becoming more negative. So that actually is a decreasing rate of change even though the numbers went up. So what we have is decreasing and concave down. We can see the concave down from the graph because it opens downwards um, and it has a decreasing rate of change.